some I will give give some give you some tips uh, regarding performance tuning in PLSQL. <coughs> now say suppose uh, there is a table say uh, which contains um, employee code, employee name, and their age. Now, <coughs> this contains in a table, say, um, employee. Now, this employee contains, more, uh, say, more than Uh, say 10,000, 10 lakh records. Now, suppose uh, you are um, writing an SQL code, so select um, M name sort age, where sort is a function written by you. Mm, which actually sort um, now suppose there is a table them cells with uh, t 10 lakh records and this cells table contains uh, a column city uh, then suppose sales amount now we are going to use a function named ab ABBR uh, I mean I'm uh, sorry sorry uh, say proper Wh which what will do suppose uh, there is a city named New York and say it is written like this now it will uh, the output will be like this it will be in proper case now if we write like this and there is say uh, one city New York occurs uh, 15 times 20 times 1000 times uh, say California or, or some uh, city with name with more than one words so they can occur uh, many times so we are going to display those names one I mean there should be a distinct distinct display so we can write like this uh, select uh, distinct uh, proper city from sales so you see for the it will retrieve the records all the 10 lakh records then it will apply the proper function on it uh, to each 10 lakh records and then uh, apply the distinct keyword uh, to uh, retrieve the distinct uh, city name I mean proper city name so uh, it takes a huge amount of time so we can optimize this uh, select statement so how how can this be done uh, we will actually use a nested query uh, in the nested query uh, on the outer select statement we will let select um, say proper city from now in the inner sub query we will write select distinct city from sales 
Now look at this. See, in the inner square, uh, in in the inner sub query, we have written this select distinct city from cells. So which actually retrieve all the distinct city name from cells. And after that, on the outer query, we uh, write uh, select proper city from. So uh, f f f in the inner query, first the uh, list of records is shortened uh, in the with the with the distinct city name. Okay, uh, it can be uh, there should be there can be uh, hundred uh, maybe hundred and ten or one twenty cities. So uh, the other select statement, uh, the proper function is applied on this 120 records, not on 10 lakh records. So th this is how we can uh, apply uh, a, a little bit of optimization on this select statement. Now we will go into some other very little things which we actually often ignores. Say, uh, say when we uh, declare variables. Okay, so generally uh, when we de declare variables, we use number. Okay, uh, in the, the in case of numeric variables, say and see uh, if you use an integer and uh, if you use number uh, so it takes uh, uh, a quite uh, amount of time uh, which can be ignored uh, in, in small programs but uh, when there is a huge execution uh, this uh, really matters so in case of integer instead of using numbers you can use pls integer or binary integer You can keep in mind uh, whether you um, the number you are using, whether it is uh, integer variable or it will hold uh, uh, fl uh, floating data, real time, real numbers. So, uh, in uh, when you are using integer, you can use PLS integer or binary integer, and uh, in case of float, you can use binary float or binary double this uh, actually makes your code more faster uh, when because as a binary float or bi binary double uh, or PLS integer actually use uh, native machine uh, level ac instruction which actually make your code faster and there is another uh, thing related optimization uh, that is uh, casting type casting uh, whenever uh, suppose uh, there is a character variable in case of uh, type casting uh, try to avoid type casting and try to use uh, similar type of variables when assigning uh, values uh, suppose sometimes we assign uh, character and numbers in character form into into integer variable uh, sometimes uh, uh, convert integer to, uh, to a character numeric and assign it to character uh, using two care. So this type of things should be avoided in case of large programs to uh, optimize code. 
uh, say uh, there is a variable say um, what's uh, x where care to two and y number two now uh, we uh, assign suppose uh, in case of uh, it is uh, 23 so what we do x we write x equal to um, to care sorry why so instead of writing this uh, if we write x equal to 23 in single quote so the this type of thing uh, execute much faster than co converting it to two car so in the same way suppose uh, there is a if you write this one uh, y equal to y plus 15.0 and if you write y equal to y plus 15 so the, the second one uh, execute uh, a little faster than y equal to y plus 5 15.0 because 15.0 is a floating variable floating number which is wi which will be which is actually converted to uh, integer to assign it to uh, y or adding uh, to y and then assign it to y so this type of little things to be keep in mind while writing um, uh, optimized code uh, regarding huge number of records uh, it is better if you use bulk color uh, instead of uh, say simple for loop cursor uh, because uh, you have two choice either you uh, uh, save time or you save memory if you want to save time and fasten your code then it's better use bulk collect bulk collect actually uh, takes a ch chunk of uh, records from data uh, from disk and load it to the memory uh, uh, after which when you uh, read each record uh, from mem uh, from memory it uh, the code execution becomes much faster rather than retrieving records from um, database it's, um, I mean from disk so this is uh, a few tips on uh, optimization and later on I will come with uh, more tips on optimization which will help your code run much faster thank you